before we get started make sure you guys hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel make sure to click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified about my latest video thank you hey Gautam. with us we have today the xiaomi redmi 4 which is a budget oriented device by xiaomi before we get started i just want to thank a friend of mine for lending me this phone to make a quick review about it this phone is priced around 8000 rupees which is approximately 125 dollars Though this phone is so cheap, it feels pretty premium in the hand and does not feel anything cheap. Before we get started, I'll just give you a physical configuration of the phone. This phone at the top, one second, uh, at the top it has a 3.5mm headphone jack which mostly and all, all every company is killing it and a three, uh, air blaster and noise cancellation. This phone even has an air blaster which is pretty good to see in this device. Even some of the high-end phones don't have it nowadays. And at the right side, we have a volume rocker and a power on-off button. The placement is good and there's a bit different texture to the volume rocker and this one. So you can differentiate whether which is what. At the bottom, we have a USB charging spot where you can charge your device and the speaker. Uh, though it's two, there are two grills. There's only a speaker at one. And on this side, we have nothing. We have the SIM ejecting to a tray where you can insert a sim and expand the, the storage or by inserting a memory card and at the back we have a 13 mega and the fingerprint the fingerprint is placed quite a good position it's easy to reach and it's pretty fast at the front we have a fire sporting 5 inch uh, HD display the quality of the display is also pretty good at the front we have a 5 megapixel camera quality is good but I wouldn't say best and this phone that's it for the physical overview let's get on to this one then Okay, so this phone runs with the Snapdragon 435, which is clocked at uh, around 1.4 GHz and couples with a RAM of 3 GB. Uh, the performance of the phone is really good. Uh, there are though sometimes I've seen some lag issues, but they are little negligible. So let's get started with the... Let's just quickly fire up the camera and see how the camera performs. This camera is a 30 mega, the back camera is 13 megapixel. It must show pretty good photos. Uh, the focusing rate on this phone is kind of pretty good, auto focus. It has auto focus as well as manual focus. There is no, almost no shutter lag in this. And the picture quality are qui quite good. Let's get with the, now let's check out the, uh, let me just show you guys the Android version on this device. This is, it has a custom U, uh, UI of uh, Xiaomi which is uh, MIUI. Uh, it is running on the, let me just check you, about phone. Here it is, about phone. So let me just little one sec. Let me just zoom in a little bit. Okay, here it is. Redmi 4. Or oh, it is running on the Android version 6. Point dot, 6. Point one, which is Marshmallow, and it is running on the MIUI 8.2.1. It is. A, it comes with a, two variants. There's a 4 GB RAM and a 4 GB RAM with 32 internal storage, and there's another one with 64 GB internal storage and 4 GB of RAM. So what do you guys think about this device? If you have a tight budget and you're looking for a pretty good smartphone, I would recommend you to check out this phone. This phone does uh, have a good, good, quite a few good specs and it's pretty good to use. But this phone is not a perfect, not all phones are perfect. This phone does heat up quite some time because of the processor. But other than that, it's a pretty good phone. I would recommend you to buy this phone if you're having a tight budget and looking for a really good smartphone. Xiaomi is known for making quite some cheap good phones and they are really do feel good. I have no problem with this phone when I have used this. Camera also is good. There is no almost anything but only thing is that it heats up sometimes. Hope you got the like video. If you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Thank you for watching. This is Gautam. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.